Once you guys got another video, how much does Microsoft Windows spy on you? That's what we're going to be taking a look at today. Now we've got a Windows 11 system right here. And as you would guess, Microsoft does collect user data, but they emphasize on privacy and security. And they say they don't collect personal information like viewing your personal information, but they do collect for a various different reasons, including providing and improving their services, personalizing user experiences and for advertising. While some data collection is necessary for those purposes, users have some control over the data they share and can adjust their privacy settings. But data collection, i.e. telemetry, is a big problem. Now, Windows 11 and other Microsoft products collect telemetry data, which includes information about how users interact with their system and applications. And we'll take a closer look at this after a quick word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for cheap Windows 11 Pro OEM keys or even Office product keys, then check out the links in the video description. All you need to do is create an account on CD Key Sales. Once you've chosen the product you want to purchase, say for instance, this Windows 11 Pro OEM key right here, you can click on the buy now button. Then you can use my discount promo code to get 30% discount on all your purchases. All you need to do is type in this promo code, capital B, capital R, 09, and apply that to your order and get a 30% discount on all your purchases on CD Key Sales. Once you submit your order, they will then send you your key and you'll be able to use that key to either upgrade from home editions of Windows to Pro editions or you can activate your version of Windows just like you see on the screen right now. So let's get back to the video. You can see we have Wireshark open here and we have all of the traffic for the DNS that is leaving this computer. And you can see there's quite a lot from Microsoft. It doesn't matter what you're doing on your computer. If it's made by Microsoft like Copilot, it's going to send information out of the computer back to Microsoft servers. And you'll see it coming up on the screen, copilot.microsoft.com. There's also other ones on here as well, which are obviously to do with Microsoft. Some of these could be, for instance, bing.com or teams.events.data.microsoft.com or teams-ring.msedge.com and uh, msn.com, store-images.s-microsoft.com and the list goes on. Now we also had the recall feature that Windows introduced to Windows 11, which takes screenshots of the user's screen to enable searching through past activity, but it does not capture the content from uh, the in private browsing or DRM protected content. Unfortunately, it was a major security flaw and a security risk and Microsoft pulled it and had to adjust uh, some of the software on what it was capturing because security experts exposed it. And a lot of people were not happy. And yes, it's on Copilot plus PCs, but people just didn't want it on their PC. And you could disable it quite easily. It weren't working on normal standard Windows PCs, but Microsoft said they were looking to get it working on every PC, which was a major turnoff for a lot of people. Now, this is a standard Windows 11 install, and it's quite scary to think how much information is leaving your computer. You can see here everything from Microsoft Edge to Teams to Copilot to Recall to, you know, God knows what else is being sent out of your computer. Now, what harvesting are they doing with all this information? As soon as you open up an Edge browser, you'll see straight away this will start sending information back. It's probably all your search terms. Maybe it will be user data, what PC specs you've got, your area, your geolocation, where you are, and all of this stuff will be sent back to Microsoft. What they're doing with it is probably uh, using it for profiling and marketing and things like that. I really don't know the full ins and outs of it all, but I think a lot of people generally got the idea and knew this was happening all the time because there's been tons of videos explaining this is what's going on with your PC. So what can you do? Well, you have a couple of choices. You don't have to use a Windows operating system. You can use another operating system if you feel that this is becoming too much. 
Now, this has progressively got worse over the years. Uh, I'm going to show you in a second what Windows 10 LTSE looks like. And I've run, uh, say, for instance, Shutup 10 on that system. And I've also got a bunch of group policies set on the system to try and alleviate a lot of this traffic. And we'll take a look to see whether we can stem a lot of this, uh, you know, data or telemetry going in and out of the computer. And we'll take a look at that in a second. So if you've ever wondered whether debloating the system actually restricts a lot of the information that has been sent from your computer, then you'll soon see. I believe that you can calm a lot of this down a little bit by turning a lot of these settings off in the privacy settings panel and also running certain tools and using group policy. Unfortunately, you're probably not going to be able to completely stop uh, you know, telemetry or harvesting of information from that computer because at the end of the day, some of this stuff is deeply buried into the operating system and it's just not possible to turn this off or even disable it. So here we have Windows 10 LTSE and you can see here uh, we have got Wireshark open and you can already see it's nowhere near as aggressive as Windows 11. Now also this system doesn't have Copilot on here and I also have Microsoft Edge uninstalled. And yet saying that, we can already see that Microsoft Edge is still being detected on the system running as a service in the background. And yet I've uninstalled it and it's still harvesting information. So you're never going to be able to stop uh, Microsoft from harvesting information from that PC, but you can tone it down a little bit. And you can see already here, we've got update.microsoft.com. I'm not updating this system. I have got it set to a manual uh, update. So why that is running in the background, I really do not know. But we do have this set to a manual setting. And you can see here, there is also amazontrust.com. And there's a bunch of other stuff on here, even though I don't have a browser open with Amazon. Uh, on there so I'm not sure where that is coming from but this is what you can expect with an operating system when they're servicing billions of computers they are going to have to you know uh, you know collect or harvest some form of information from the PC to be able to service those systems and uh, serve you better it's impossible for them uh, not to have any sort of telemetry and be able to service billions of uh, devices in the world now you can see we also have bing.com and a bunch of other stuff like microsoft.net or cxcs.microsoft.net. There's tons of domain names that they use for traffic managing and also harvesting information. What they're harvesting is really unknown because Microsoft do share some information saying this is all they collect, but you can turn as much as this stuff off as you like, but it will still pull some information from the PC. We are running a local account and the same as Windows 11 before, that was a local account as well that wasn't connected to Microsoft. And I dread to think that even more information would be pulled if you was using a, you know, a proper Microsoft account. So what is the answer? Well, this system has a legacy software installed like Notepad and a bunch of other stuff installed on the system. Yes, there's a couple of browsers on here because I was testing uh, some stuff so we have brave on here and also opera on here uh, you can see the windows updates was not running in the background there is no windows updates but as soon as you open this up and start running it it's going to start sending information out on the system now some of these browsers weren't even open and they were also connecting out and sending information out so it's not just microsoft it's software companies as well these will also harvest information on your usage and what you're doing. You can see there's ESET on there as a service as well, running, connecting, going out to the internet because obviously they're trying to protect you and they're also trying to see if the software needs updating and what you're doing with that software because it's their job to uh, you know, keep an eye on their software to service it. I'm pretty sure that Wireshark will be sending information out because you're using their software. So you can't really avoid it 100% really, if you're doing searches in the search box in Windows, I'm pretty sure that's going to harvest some form of information on what you're searching for, and it will be sent back to Microsoft. Now, before people start shouting in the comments, Linux users, 
This is why I use Linux. Pretty sure that Linux does harvest some form of telemetry. They have to, to be able to service that operating system. Maybe it's information about the hardware you're using or whatever it is that they're harvesting, but they will harvest some form of information. It's just the way operating systems work or software companies work. Now, we know uh, Microsoft harvest way more than what Linux would be doing on their systems, and that's because Linux is nowhere near as popular as what Windows is. Windows is pretty much installed on every new computer when it's sold, and it's also used on billions of devices around the world. Now, imagine Linux having the monopoly like Windows has. I'm pretty sure that things would change, uh, and you would probably see more telemetry being introduced and probably the operating system would be a purchase rather than free because obviously it's business at the end of the day. And, uh, you know, who's going to support all of those computers? It will take more staff. And of course, these staff would have to be highly trained and they would be servicing uh, that system. And again, they would need paying as well. So who's going to be paying them when the operating system is 100% free? Where are they going to be making their money from? Uh, to be able to pay these people, to be able to maintain billions of computers or devices. It's just not possible. So they would be going down the same route as what Microsoft would be doing, more than likely, and, and this is the thing. And I can honestly say that most software has some form of telemetry or data collecting, uh, you know, because they have to. That's the way it works. So it's not just Microsoft. Microsoft have taken it to a new level, of course, uh, with Windows 11. Now, Windows 10 LTSE, which is what you're seeing right here, it's nowhere near as bad as, say, Windows 11, but it still does harvest some form of information. How much information? I really don't know. I really don't think it really matters at this stage. Now, what I did here is I run O&O Shut Up 10 on this system, and I also use group policies that I have set in place. And even with all of those uh, put on here and run on the system, it was still collecting some form of data uh, and it's not possible to completely stop it 100%. So for all those people that are using scripts and other things like that to try and stop it, there is no real way of completely stopping it. The only way to stop it is to use something else. But even those companies will probably be harvesting some form of data. It's just the way it is nowadays. So this is what I did here. I used this program and I also used, uh, you know, some group policies on this system to try and lock it down as much as possible. I used this Amber one right here, and it pretty much uh, stopped a lot of the harvesting. Now, I haven't tested this on Windows 11. I might need to make another video just to show you what it looks like after we completely debloat Windows 11 and run this and see if it calms it right down on Windows 11. That'll be another video. If you want to see that video, then let me know in the comments section down below. I'll be happy to make those videos for you. And believe it or not, we've just opened up O&O Shut Up 10 on the system. And you can see it's also connecting out and going to that company, back to the software, back to the domain name. Are they harvesting information? I really don't know. Uh, but again, it is showing a connection right there to connect out and going back to their servers. So we put a lot of trust in a lot of software and we never really know what is being harvested. I made a video yesterday about browser add-ons and how they were harvesting information. And again, this is the thing, we trust a lot of software and yet we just don't know what sort of information is being sent back or harvested. Anyway, with that said, I think that's going to be about it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to my YouTube members. I appreciate the support. Hope you have a lovely day and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.